you. I fucked up. Did he hear me talking? Live by your own tattoo. This must have to death. I've been going through it recently. Oh, that was amazing. Now that's just little old me in this body over here. Thousands of people are seeing Kevin, so that's a bullshit excuse. Oh, I can't. Get inside! <laughs> I fucked up, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I have a sponsored video that I finished last week, submitted to the brand, and I thought it was supposed to go up this week. Well, I didn't look at the calendar. Like, this was clearly a me problem. I didn't look at the calendar. So it's actually supposed to go up next week. So when you guys see that video and it's referencing the last video, it's not referencing this video, it's referencing the video before that, okay? Because I messed up. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm really trying to be consistent this year too and like I don't want to miss any weeks of uploads. I'm okay if like a video can't go up on a Tuesday or something but like I want a video to go up every single week and here we are filming a vlog. I hope that I can edit this like tonight or tomorrow and get it up as soon as possible for you guys but again if you have been following me on Instagram or I'm now on TikTok um I've been going through it recently and it kind of got to the point where I just realized my body is shutting down. <laughs> I am very much so in survival mode. Like, I have always been someone that thrives off of eight hours of sleep. I need my eight hours of sleep or I am cranky. Like, I am not my best self. Obviously, I have not slept through the night in so long. We actually talked about that in the last video. And besides that, it's like I haven't really been reading. I know I mentioned that in the last video. Journaling, what is journaling? I've been puzzling, so that's like something that I do to take care of myself. Drinking water, I legitimately got to the point where I wasn't even drinking one of these a day. Like it would get to the night time, which is like seven o'clock because that's when he goes to bed. And I would be walking around the living areas being like, where's my water? I wanna fill it up before bed. It never left my nightstand. I didn't drink any freaking water. So for the last few days, I have been trying to do a better job of taking care of myself. I have been challenging myself to drink two of these a day, which is crazy. I used to drink five a day and it was no big deal. Two a day, we can do. And then I realized like, I don't honestly have time slash like when I do have time I actually don't want to sit and read a book which is so unlike me like I used to love doing that but now I've been listening to podcasts and stuff in the car and I was like Catherine if you've been listening to podcasts in the car why don't you listen to a book in the car I am already done one audiobook for the year the one thing I have been really good at ever since he was born is getting out of the house every single day I notice a huge difference in my mental health if I get out of the house even if it's just going to a drive, well actually, you know what, going to a drive through like if I'm going to Bullet Coffee or something, I do notice on those days, like, yeah, it feels good to get out of the house, but it doesn't impact me as much as, like, if I'm walking around Target. So do we need anything at Target? No, but it is a rainy day, and I'm like, this just, I just kind of, like, want to walk. I just want to peruse, and little guy napped the whole way here, and now he's awake and happy, so we're gonna go inside. I'm drinking my water. I'm... Oh, I had to drink more to tell. I could really just tell based off the weight. There was no point. In... Hmm. There's a point in drinking more. I'm gonna guess my water's about to here right now. So if I got like a third left, if I can just drink two today, I'll be happy with it. Two is all I need. And I also brought my vitamins out here. I need to find a good spot to put my vitamins. Right now they're on my nightstand and you would think that would be like, ah, you see it every day. Take them in the morning. I was so good at taking my prenatal vitamins. This is just like my mindset and it's so bad. I will easily do anything for other people, but like doing things for myself can be so incredibly difficult. Like I freaking have a tattoo that says for me, like live by your own tattoo, girl. But when I was pregnant, it was so easy for me to take my prenatal every single day because it like had to do with him. And even eating, drinking water, all that stuff. Like I was so good when I was pregnant with him because I was like, this is for him, this is for him. Now that it's just little old me in this body over here, I am terrible at taking my vitamins, so I'm trying to get back to this.
he's down for his nap. So that's like when I just did my quick little clean. I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. My anxiety has definitely been high recently and I think journaling will be good for me. I've only journaled once so far this year, so this is my second day. <laughs> refrigerator actually has an ice maker however I kind of actually wanted to sit in my chair right here the water line to it I think I actually only shared this on my Instagram stories and not on YouTube I really don't remember but the water line to it popped a leak hence why there's like a huge cutout in my ceiling in the basement that you've probably seen like a handful of times really not often because I'm not in that room very much um, but then they quoted me an astronomical price to run a new water line and I was like, I could literally do this myself if I wanted to. So, and I honestly, I never use the ice maker in that fridge anyway. So it was like, I just had a water line going. I do want that water line back because I would love for my fridge to have an ice maker. However, it's just not top priority on this renovation. But I did realize when it comes to water that I really stopped drinking water postpartum. And it didn't hit me until the other day why it happened. So obviously I have been solo with little man ever since the day he was born. And especially when he was teeny tiny, so little, finding times to go to the bathroom was incredibly difficult. And I would feel so guilty, which like I know I shouldn't, but still when I had to go to the bathroom and he, if he was upset and I had to set him down, like I felt so guilty. So I just like kind of subconsciously, I guess you could say, stopped drinking water so that I wouldn't have to go to the bathroom as much, which is so effing bad. But also I really like to drink cold water. This is something that really came up in pregnancy. Like I needed to have freezing cold water or I could not drink it like it was not satisfying at all so that like hit me the other day I was like you know what I'm not drinking water because of going to the bathroom which now it's so much easier for me to find to go find time to go to the bathroom so that's a bullshit excuse but then also if I like really cold water why don't I just get a small ice cube tray that legit costs three dollars at Target like girl so I've been putting ice in my water now so that it's super cold because the like tap filtration system that I have, it doesn't come out super cold. Like it comes out cool, but it's not like really cold. Ice cubes for the win. Okay, I gotta edit a TikTok. shoes did I actually put them away good for me it is lunchtime and I really don't have a lot of food here to cook I did cook myself twice yesterday so very happy about that but for lunch today for some reason last night I was laying in bed and I was like oh my gosh taco mama I have not had taco mama I'm pretty sure since I gave birth to you why are you so smiling and it just like hit me yesterday I was like wow that would be really good so I think I'm gonna get a taco bowl where I can get some veggies in and actually eat a meal, huh? Cause that is one thing I am just like so bad, like why? I honestly, there was one day, I was telling Cameron about this, that I was like, no wonder I've been in survival mode because for all three meals I had breakfast. So in the morning I had a breakfast sandwich, for lunch I think I had cereal and then for dinner I had a bagel and I was like, no wonder you feel like shit because you put zero vegetables in your body. Like you put nothing of true value in your body. Now I'm gonna grab you. How are you? You look a little bit sleepy still, which is crazy. You slept for two hours. Fact that it's not even three o'clock yet and it is this dark outside. It's about to pour, but he had just fallen asleep. We were like two streets away 
And then of course, as soon as I parked the car, he woke up, woke up. So I'm really hoping that he'll fall right back asleep, but he might need my help. Also, oh God. The audiobook I'm listening to right now is actually on Spotify. This was referenced in Claire Gents, her Instagram caption. And honestly, I love anything to do with manifestation. I told you guys I'm getting like back into manifestation right now. So this is called, hold please, hold please, hold please, hold please, hold please. Okay, Manifest, it's seven steps to living your best life by Roxy, her last name is N-A-F-O-U-S-I. It's so good. <laughs> like I just got started with it and I'm like, dang, while I do my yoga today, I really wanna just do get in like a real good meditative space and really, really hone in on the details about what I want out of this year. Like I know I already did a little bit of a manifestation practice that I shared with you guys, but I don't know, I still feel like it was a little vague. And especially after listening to what she's saying right now, I'm like, yeah, I need to get far more specific. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm just curious if this boy's gonna be able to fall asleep on his own. started to pour I was like I just gotta get outside I gotta get outside right now oh my gosh oh that was amazing like this is <laughs> I ended up hitting an absolute wall last night so when he went to sleep he was asleep probably like 7.45. I was asleep by eight o'clock. Like I was out cold. So no yoga was done yesterday, which does remind me, I was like thinking about this at the end of the day yesterday. I was like, wow, this probably seems like a lot. Like I'm doing all of these things right now. I have slowly started to incorporate them. You know, it's like yoga. This is now gonna be my second yoga ses session. So it's not like, all in one day, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna drink water, I'm gonna eat better, I'm gonna listen to books. It wasn't all in one day, it was like a slow little integration and I'm also giving myself a lot of grace in the sense that yesterday I actually didn't drink two of these. This is like still my second one and probably there's like this much left, like there's not much. But giving myself grace with that, I didn't work out yesterday, you know, it's all a, uh, little balance of just, I'm very much so like a vibes based person. It's like, what's the vibes? Like, here's what I want to do, but like, what are the vibes? What am I feeling? So he just went down for his nap and I'm gonna do some yoga. I also want to listen to my audio book because it's now at a point where there's like this visualization manifestation and I want to listen to that, like really be immersed in it and then journal, kind of like what I was talking about yesterday, but it's all gonna start with yoga. So I'm actually only gonna do like a 20 minute flow. I also don't have my yoga mat, I shipped it, which I'm glad that I did because I do wanna start going to a yoga studio again, but that means I'm just doing yoga here on my rug.
was so much more difficult than the other day, and I think it's because my muscles, oh, girl, you rolled away, go get it. My muscles feel it. Like for some reason, doing Warrior Two today, I also think because I was trying to correct my posture, I filmed myself the other day so that I could see like what my posture is looking like in poses, and it is an absolute disaster because I'm just so out of practice. I used to go to two yoga classes a week that were, they were either 75 minutes or 90 minutes. And I loved yoga, like I was so good. I like had all these arm poses and stuff down. Like there was one year where I set a goal for myself to learn three new arm poses and, did he hear me talking? Well now he's awake. Anyway, I did 10 minutes of was it a vinyasa flow? I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was like a lot of standing poses and I could just feel my mind giving out as my body was more so challenged. And I was like, that's not really the goal of this. Like I just want to get back into moving and love it. So I switched and then I did 10 minutes of more so restorative yoga, which was nice. And now he's waking up, which is gonna change my manifestation practice, but that's, that's okay.